Welcome back friends. In this video lecture, we will be talking about FACS or fluorescent activated cell sorting. Okay. Fluorescent activated cell sorting is a type of cytometric process where we ultimately know the expressed proteins as well as the number of cells that are expressing the protein. Right. So, these are the two things that we usually do with this process. One is to understand uh, the amount of amount of proteins expressed and second thing is the number of cells expressing that protein. These are the major two things that we find out using fluorescent activated cell sorting. Now this is a technique which use or implies the attachment of a fluorescent tag or radioactive dye. Right? So radioactive uh, molecule or fluorescent tag is very important for ultimately knowing uh, the expression of a particular protein. Okay. So in fact, the idea is sorting of the cell. That's why I call fluorescent activated cell sorting. Cell sorting. Sorting means we have a lot of different types of cells. The cells, suppose some cell produce a protein. Let's say the protein of interest here is X. So that protein X is made by the cell 1, uh, 100 proteins are made. For cell 2, only 2 proteins are made. So, based on that idea, based on this fact system, we can actually take out all those different property containing cell, different types of cell away. We can actually sort all those cells and actually pick up the different varieties of cells in different re regions. So, that's the important uh, technique. With one technique, we can do all this stuff. So, how we actually do this? The idea behind this fluorescent activated cell sorting is that uh, normally, uh, so usually the, the machine, it looks something like this, it has a chamber like that and ultimately it has a small tunnel like this, right. And ultimately at the bottom, they have a small chamber, small chamber that's called the drop. This is called the drop. So in this chamber, we filled with all the different varieties of proteins. Let's say the proteins, this blue proteins, uh, red, let's say black, let's say these are the different types or say say green also, different proteins are placed here, okay. Now all those mixture of proteins, the different types of uh, cells actually, not proteins mainly, there are cells and inside the cell they produce a particular protein that we are dealing with for example. Now what happens, this cell will slowly move or the protein complex will slowly move through this chamber and now it's during the movement, let's say this green one, during this movement there is a laser attached, there is a laser and this laser is passed through this all those cells, right. So as the laser is hitting to the cell, the cell and the protein complex they are scattering this light, right. So there is a kind of scatter in light that we can observe, a scattering scattering of light is observed. Now this scattering of light varies from type of cell to another type. Let us say for this green type of cell, the scattering is some time. Let us say for the black type of cell, the scattering will be different. For the blue one, the scattering will be different. So scattering is a kind of signature mark for the different type of cells that are passing through this chamber. And then finally, they are dropped in this drop section. So now after all this trouble uh, section, they will be placed here at the drop at the end and then it will be collected and sorted based on the manner, right. Now during the sort, sorting process also, we have uh, two different type of uh, electrode system. One is positively charged, another one is negatively charged, right. Let us say the overall content of the protein that is present inside the cell or something, they are overall positively charged. So in that case, this type of molecule, sorry, in that case, this type of molecule which is positively charged will be closer to the negative terminal. The molecules let us say which are negatively charged which will be closer to this positively charged chamber and the molecule which is let us say, let us say the red one which is neutral in nature, they will come straight and after the end of it we have three different chambers these three different chambers. Now then, if you look at the chamber, someone collect this one, uh, this middle chamber collects this one and this end chamber 
collect this one. So, this is how the cell is sorted right based on the type of scattering first and then the type of based on charge. So, these two things are helping to differentiate between different types of cells. Now, once you differentiate that but also remember it is all about expression and the proteins that are present. Number of cells that are expressing the protein that is important based on this process and we can separate them that is the actual idea separating or sorting of those cells and then amount of protein expressed. To understand the amount of protein expressed, the important thing what we can do here is that let us say the protein of our interest here is X and what we do, we design an antibody against this specific protein, again this X protein specific antibody which will be attached with that protein properly with specificity and high accuracy. Now that antibody FC portion is tagged with a fluorescent dye. So, this antibody is tagged with fluorescent dye. Now, this antibody with the FAB portion attached with that protein to fish out that protein from the, from the mixture. So, now what we can see is that a particular fluorescent radiation, a fluorescent uh, light and that fluorescent light can be detected by the detector that are present. So, the detector can detect the fluorescent light coming from the cell. A specific fluorescent light is responsible for a specific type of protein because that is how we design all these things. Okay. Green fluorescent light we can tell the protein is X, let us say the blue fluorescent light we can say the protein is Y right? or let us say the yellow fluorescent light we can say the protein is Z or something like that. So, this thing will be specific for coloration for a particular type of protein. Now, once we get all this idea from this fluorescent tag and the detector that is present here along with the scattering feature, we can see two different things. We can see the intensity as well as we can see the frequency. We can see the frequency as well as intensity, right? And we find different graphs be, uh, for, for all this, right? Intensity and frequency. If you look, these are the two things that matters for all this, all this fluorescent dye, fluorescent light that are coming out. The intensity of the light and the frequency of that light. Now remember, this frequency corresponds with the number of cells, number of cells containing that protein. Frequency means how many times that particular fluorescent is coming how many times that is coming and this is relatable with the number of cells that are expressing the protein. On the other hand, the intensity of that fluorescent light is going to tell us the amount of protein that are present. So, this is correlated with the amount of protein that are there. So, these are the two things that matters. Intensity is amount of protein, frequency is the number of cells that are expressing it. So, in, a, in turn this is how fluorescent activated cell sorter works and using fluorescent activated cell sorting as you can see that is why it is called fluorescent activated because normally the scattering is important to detect the cells that are present or not, but whether the cells are expressing any protein or not, but the amount of proteins expressed and what are the type of cells that are expressing the protein. To understand that we need this fluorescent tag with antibody probe. So, that is very very important for facts and that is what we do with facts. Okay. So, that is it guys. If you like this video hit the like button, subscribe to the channel to get more video tutorials like this and also share this video with your friends in social networks. Thank you.